Hey gang, welcome to your 18th and last JavaScript and the DOM tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you the DOM content loaded event. Okay, so I just wanted to finish up on a pretty light lesson. Uh, just a quick one about the event DOM content loaded. So at the minute in our HTML file, our script is right at the bottom here, just before the closing body tag. Now, this is fine. Everything works on the page because by the time this script is executed, most of the DOM is already loaded, okay? All these elements are in place. So when we come to attach event listeners to them, we have no problem. However, if I was to go into the index file, take this script and then move it up to the top, I'll just place it in the head, for example, underneath the title. If I save it now, check it out in a browser. If I try to use these delete buttons, they don't work. If I try to search for books, they don't work. If I try to hide them, nothing works. You get the point, nothing on this page works, okay? And that's because by the time the script runs, because the script is loading in the head first of all, when that runs, the DOM is not fully loaded yet. So when we're trying to attach events to particular elements in the DOM, for example, when we're trying to find the add form, which is document.forms add book, it cannot grab that yet because the DOM hasn't fully loaded. So what's the answer to this? Well, one of the answers is just to place a script at the bottom down here, okay? Because then everything works as we've seen. But sometimes as a front end developer, you might not always have the option. There might be scripts in the head and you can edit the script, but you can't change where the output onto the page. So if that's the case, what we can do is use the DOM content loaded event. And that fires when the DOM has fully loaded and we're ready to start manipulating it. So we can listen for that event in JavaScript. So for example, I could go into this app.js and I could come to the top and at the top, I could say documents and then we're attaching an event listener to this document. So we'll say add event listener and this event will be the DOM content loaded event. So it's capital D-O-M, then content, then loaded. So this event is going to fire on the document when everything is ready, when the DOM is ready to be manipulated. So we only want to do all of this JavaScript in here once this event has fired. So let's wrap it all in the callback function that we pass through here when that event does fire. So let's open this up and then I'm going to just grab all of this down here, cut it and paste it inside here. And then I'm also just going to grab it all. Oh, I don't need to scoot it along. I think it's automatically done that for me. Cool. It has. Okay. So now everything is wrapped inside this one event listener and if i click save now even though the script file is still at the top of the page if we refresh over here now everything should work because we're not attaching things to the dom until it's fully loaded until that dom content ready event has fired so everything now works as expected okay so there we go that is the DOM content loaded event and how we can use it to wait until the DOM has fully loaded before we start manipulating the DOM itself. And that's the end of this series. So I hope now you can see how much you can do with the DOM in JavaScript without using libraries like jQuery. And I hope it will make you think twice before going out and grabbing the jQuery library to do manipulations like this. Don't forget guys, if you enjoy these videos, please do like them, share them and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next series.